Now, once you've done your cuticle and your nail prep work, which is absolutely crucial to get a smooth finish to the surface of the nail. And remember to get a smoother finish to a ridge nail, then buffing is your best friend, but just about once a month. And also, if you've got a problem with the base of your nail, then solve it with actually choosing dedicated base and top coats that have got the treatment in that your nail needs. So there are different treatments, just like there's different skin type products or skin age products, there are different base and top coats that will solve different issues. So check if your base and top coat's working for you. And then you want to go on to your colour application. And it's up to you with your colour application. Again, it might depend upon whether you're allowed to wear colour for work or not. If you can't wear colour for work, wear crazy bright colours on your toenails. That always works. And then paint your nails on your day off or as soon as you finish your shift at work, get a bright coloured nail varnish on. But it might be that you need to have single, beautiful, luxury, high shine cream, which are quite classic looks for work or that you like to have a very professional and elegant look to the nail area. It doesn't mean you can't play with fashion because obviously then you can get high shine creams that are actually in the new season colours. But that is maybe the easiest or the most elegant way to actually apply colour. Now, when you're applying the colour with the different brands, the rule is pretty much the same with all of the brands. The brush of the bottle is designed to work with the pot of the nail varnish and the nail varnish formulation. And when you actually open up the nail varnish, don't shake the nail varnish because that can put bubbles in. If you want to warm a nail varnish up or stop it from separating it, roll it. Nail varnishes nowadays have often got an agitator that you can hear, little like ball bearings in the bottom, and you can hear them actually going clunk, clunk, clunk. That's actually getting the nail varnish to the right texture. And then load the brush up if you've had it upside down, which is why you try not to hold or store your nail varnishes upside down or on the sides. But if you have, just clean the whole of the brush off completely, then go in once and clean off one side and half of the other. So you've actually just got to drop naturally on one side of the lower part of the brush. It's that part of the brush that you will then use on your nail. And when you paint your nail, the easiest technique to use is to put the brush two thirds of the way down the nail plate and then use the brush shape to push the nail varnish down to the cuticle and then bend it round the nail. And just do that in three sweeps once down the middle, once down either side, and try and cover the nail in just three sweeps. Now, the reason you don't use more than three sweeps is the more you brush or flick the nail, the nail varnish is drying. Therefore, the more likely you are to either get brush marks or streaks or the uneven layers. And the nail varnishes nowadays, especially the brands that we stock, are self-leveling. So just put them on. Don't worry if the first coat is almost see-through. Let it self-level and then put your second coat on. And another top tip, remember to actually seal the edge of the nail. So on the free edge of the nail, especially as you grow your nails longer, then actually just put a coat of nail varnish there. And remember always your base coat there and your top coat there on that free edge because that helps to stop the nail varnish actually lifting and splitting from the free edge. Now that sort of classic cream gloss, you can mattify that look quite easily by using sometimes mattifying polishes or things like matte nail envy and that can change the colour. You can also cocktail on top of these colours with some of the see-through or thin shades of colours like Leighton Denny's got cocktail in colours or butterfly wings or the paler see-through colours or the shimmering like Holborn from Nails Inc and put them on top. So you can sort of ring the changes, especially towards the end of the week if you get a crack or a chip that easy to cover over. You can then go for, don't forget, different techniques. If you need a nail varnish to last longer than a classic formula, go for the gel formulas. These gel formulas don't require a light. We have them OPI and Nails Inc, many of our brands, we have a gel formula and they're designed to go on thicker, more plumptious, high shine and to last longer than your normal classic colours. They don't take too much longer to dry and you can still use your same top coats on there as well, so that's good. Also, if you want to take your step into nail art, easy steps into nail art for you are going to be just to take an existing colour and actually do a different colour on a ring finger or do a different colour on alternate fingers 
or do things like a reversed French and take inspiration from some of the block colours used in handbags or in dresses. And if you see a dress that you like, that's maybe orange pink with a black stripe, then actually take your orange and your pink nail varnish, put it on half and half on the nail, either vertically or horizontally, and then between those two colours, just do a thin black line. And that, so you've maybe inspired and you know the colours work really well because of current fashion that you see in magazines or in clothing that you've got or that you've admired. But if you want to take nail art and actually put nail art on the hand rather than hand painting, nowadays it's easy. You can actually buy the almost like the graphic shapes that we would normally paint hand onto the nail or airbrush onto the nail, you can actually buy them in pots. Nail Zinc do a lot of these. So you actually get flower designs that you can then place on or polka dot designs that you can place on either individually or you can encrust the nail in them and again you can do up to you ring finger all the nails or just an accent one on one nail or you can even just take some of these shapes and put them on with an underlying cream coat that is of a coordinating or a contrasting color and just use them as if you have literally hand painted them onto the nail Whenever you do nail art, the most crucial thing is going to be top coat. And if you are putting any applique work on, do a double top coat and try putting a top coat on even every day if your hands are in and out of pockets because that will stop the nail art from rubbing off.